All right. Well, moving on now, Wednesdays here on the program, we like to put the spotlight on the Farm Women's Group Common Ground. Common Ground is a group of farm women who want to be a resource for consumers who want to know more about how their food is grown. So today joining us is Sharon Portnier from the Farnham area. Nice to see you. It's nice to be here. Yeah, good it's, to see you too. It's been a while it since has. I've been here. Yeah. Yes. How's everything in your area? It's great. We had wonderful rains starting late last week. Good. And so everything is green and growing and it looks wonderful. I know Fantastic. you have your granddaughter along with you. She's out of school, I assume. Or? We we have had our granddaughter for a few days mm -hmm. and actually mommy met her met us and picked her up <laughs> and, and they're on their way back home now. <laughs> <laughs> well, perfect. That's a lot of fun this time of year. It is. Yeah, well, we want to talk a little bit about um, this issue today of, of implanting, is it right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about it. Why do, why do uh, producers do it? Well. We implant our calves when they're young to make them utilize their food better uh, and help them grow strong and healthy. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the implanting of hormones mm -hmm. or the use of hormones in cattle. And we have some pictures that we want to show of your farm and your cattle. And we'll take a look at that now and you can describe what we're seeing, Sharon. Okay, this was last week. We got all the cattle off to grass and so this is just some pictures of them. Pretty area. Happy cows out in the grass. Mm -hmm. So they, uh, they get out and they graze, and this is another shot of your area kind of grazing, and, and yes, you guys are was, working the cattle. Yep, we bit. were rounding them up to bring them into the yards to uh, give them their shots, and this is a, a view of actually working the cattle. Uh, we have a whole group of friends and neighbors that help us, and uh, this is uh, our daughter, a, giving uh, injections and the implants uh, to the calves to help them grow and, and utilize that feed stuffs better. And then the, it just is, works out well. And the calves, then they are implanted at about three to four months of age. And then again, at eight to nine months of age, uh, they are re-implanted so that as they go into the feed yard, they are uh, utilizing the feed that they're, they're given at the feed yard until they're f finished and ready for harvest gotcha. then. So mm -hmm. the hormones essentially, or the use of this, really just helps uh, produce a good product, uh, a great beef product. The question I think a lot of consumers have, and maybe you could answer, is, we, is there a concern using hormones in beef like this? No, there, there shouldn't be a concern. There is a lot of concern because people worry about what we're doing to the, me the meat as it's mm -hmm. growing on the hoof. But there, there shouldn't be a concern because it's a very, very minor amount that is into their system and it's used up as they are growing and eating. And a nanogram is how it's measured and one nanogram compares to one blade of grass in a football field. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So it's a very, very, very tiny amount. And every living thing has hormones in it. Vegetables, milk, I mean, it's just there by nature. And so we are just uh, helping them to utilize that feed better and grow mm -hmm. stronger and and produce better. Right, okay. and I, I assume if consumers have questions, they can always contact you guys with Common Ground about this. Yes. Yeah, you'd yes. be happy to, happy talk to talk to somebody talk like them, yeah. you too who knows what's <laughs> mm -hmm. happening out there on the ranch, so that's right. great. All right, well, thank you for coming in. Well, thanks for having thanks. me. <laughs> thanks, and you're coming back later with a recipe too, so you don't go away. That was okay. a good one, it's a good one. Okay.